how is it going everybody mr android here welcome back to a brand new video on this channel today i've got this all new oneplus nord 5 which is one of the popular mid-range devices from oneplus honestly i really like the way how this phone looks and it does feel quite premium to hold as well you get a gorgeous looking 6.3 inches 1.5k resolution amoled 144hz flat display with extremely thin symmetrical bezels all around and it also has a peak brightness of 1800 nits not only that this phone even has the powerful snapdragon 8s gen 3 processor it comes with 12 gigs of ram 256 or 512 gb of storage and the best part is it has a massive 6800 mh battery which is a great thing now since this phone is running the latest Oxygen S15, you get plenty of amazing features and customizations along with some really useful AI tools as well. Guys we also get exclusive features like the plus key and the mind space. We'll talk more about all these incredible features and I'll show you some of the useful tips and tricks that will help you get the most out of your OnePlus Nord 5 and you can also try them on your Nord C5 too. So stay tuned and watch this video until the very end. Also let's aim for at least 1000 likes on this one. With that said, drop a like, leave a comment and let's get started. First let's talk about some exclusive new features that OnePlus has recently added to their phones. First things first, we've got this brand new plus key instead of the iconic alert slider which we used to get on OnePlus phones. But this thing can do a lot more useful stuff. Now in order to configure the plus key, all you need to do is head out to your phone settings. If you scroll down, you get this all new plus key option. When you go inside, you will be greeted with this beautiful interface which is definitely inspired by the iOS. But I honestly love the way how they implemented this with cool animations. Here you can configure and assign the plus key to change the ringer mode, open the camera, toggle the flashlight, start voice recordings or take screenshots. But what's even more interesting here is you can configure the plus key to activate mind space which basically recognize what's on your phone screen and add it as a memory. Let me quickly show you how this thing actually works. With just a simple press, it instantly recognizes your phone screen, takes the screenshot and add it to the mind space with a detailed AI summary. So if it's a conversation that has some meeting or event info, mind space will understand the context and create a calendar entry for you. Similarly, it works on articles or a music track or any of your ideas can be organized automatically with a quick summary. Then you can easily access them inside the Mindspace app whenever you want to. I think it's a pretty useful AI feature that can organize all your stuff and keep them in one place. Nord 5 also comes with this OnePlus stock dialer that has some useful AI features built in. When you are in a call with someone, you get this all new AI call assistant that lets you translate calls in real time so you can speak with anyone around the world in your language and it automatically translates in real time. But what's even more exciting here is this AI voice scribe that can help you record, summarize or translate calls within third party apps like WhatsApp, Telegram and more. So let's say I'm in a WhatsApp call, I can record the entire conversation and have it completely transcribed and even summarize it as well. The best part is now you can translate your WhatsApp calls with this amazing AI feature. Since you are talking about calls, if you go into settings, select sound and vibration, scroll all the way down, here you get this option called clear voice. Simply go ahead and turn this on and this will filter out background noise when you are in a call to ensure that you have a crystal clear communication. Another useful set of AI tools can be found inside the gallery app when editing pictures. If you select AI editor, you get a bunch of useful tools like AI Eraser, AI Unblur, AI Detail Boost. But what's new here is this option called AI Recompose. What it basically does is it recompose your picture and provides you with the best angle possible for that photo with the help of AI. It even suggests filters that can enhance your pictures. Then there are other tools like AI Eraser that helps you to remove unwanted objects from the picture. AI Unblur will help you enhance any blurry picture, then the AI Reflections will remove any reflection from your pictures. AI Detail Boost will increase the resolution and image clarity with sharp details using AI. This device also supports the circle to search feature, so you can just long press on the navigation bar to quickly search anything from Google. You can circle on an object or image you want to search for and it instantly provides all the information related to that specific item. Now when you're reading an article or browsing the web, 
You can swipe down with your three fingers and not only does it take screenshots, but here you will see this useful option called extract text. When you tap on it, it allows you to extract anything from that particular page. You can copy the text or image and save it inside the file doc which you can later access whenever you want to. This file doc comes in really handy to temporarily store anything on your phone. If you are using the smart sidebar on your phone, then you get a couple of interesting AI features. So just go to accessibility and convenience, scroll down and make sure the smart sidebar is turned on. Once done, now when you are reading an article or browsing through web pages, simply swipe from the edges and here you get AI summary and AI speak. You can use the AI speak to read out the entire content that is present on your screen. So when you don't have enough time to read anything on the web, you can use this feature. There is also an option to choose between the male or female audio. You can also increase the speed for your convenience. Then we have the AI summary which summarizes the entire web page or content present on the screen. There is an option to copy, share or save the summary directly to your phone. Not only this, when using messaging apps on your phone, you also get this AI writing feature which will help you to check your grammar mistakes. You can also compose anything by simply writing a few words and it even allows you to rewrite in different tones. So you get some useful tools that will surely enhance your writing experience. OnePlus has recently done a lot of changes to the lock screen and added many cool customization features. If you go into settings, then wallpaper and style, you will get this brand new interface with a bunch of beautiful looking flux themes for your lock screen. We've got classic, sleek, pulse, light and shadow, composition and a lot more to choose from. Depending on your mood, you can choose whatever you like. And then we have the option to change the clock style, customize the color, adjust the size. You can also add blur and some cool effects to the lock screen. And there is an option to enable or disable the depth effect as well. You can also use any of these beautiful looking fonts that are already present here. Honestly, you get some beautiful customization features that will surely take your lock screen to the next level. And the best part is that if you're using the always on display on your phone, then you get this beautiful animation that just look absolutely stunning. Every time when you unlock your phone, you're going to appreciate this little transition that looks really, really cool. Next, if I access the quick settings, you can see this black and white accent, which is present all across the interface. Even when I go to the settings page, we get this black and white accent that does resemble the old Oxygen OS design language. Go into wallpaper and style, select colors and here you need to click on this option called two tone this will give you that old oxygen os vibe and it does look really really good there are also a couple of new icon packs with oxygen s15 if you select icons here you can see two new options the first one is called radiance and this looks very similar to the default icons but it just has that slight gradient look which makes the icon pop on your home screen then we have something called shadows which is actually the darker version and basically it adds a dark background to all your icons. Now the best part is you can also apply any third party icon pack from the play store without installing any kind of launcher on your phone. Next, let me show you how to unlock and get these beautiful widgets on your home screen. If you long press and then go to widgets, you won't find these good looking widgets here. In order to get them all, you need to simply go to the app drawer and drag the clock icon to the home screen. Then simply long press and hold the icon tap on pin. This way you get access to some exclusive and good looking oneplus widgets. You can do this for clock, weather, notes, files and even for the recording application. Next we have this feature called live alerts which is heavily inspired by the dynamic island that is present on iPhones. All you need to do is go to accessibility and convenience then select live alerts. You will see the list of apps that are supported. Now let's say you set a timer on your phone and minimize the clock application. It goes straight into the punch hole and converts that into the dynamic island. It also works when playing music on Spotify. You can track your order from Swiggy or Zomato as well. The best part is unlike the dynamic island, here you can see applications in an expanded view and you can easily control multiple apps at the same time. This feature works really well with some smooth animations. Did you know the quickest way to launch your favorite apps and shortcuts is by using the fingerprint scanner. If I touch and hold the fingerprint scanner even after my phone gets unlocked, I get this pop-up menu where I can launch my favorite apps and shortcuts. Now to activate this feature, go into the phone settings, select accessibility and convenience. Here enable this option called quick launch. 
you can choose your favorite apps and shortcuts that you want to access using the fingerprint. Now coming back to the home screen, Oxygen S15 also has the enlarge folder option where you just need to long press on a folder and then simply select the enlarge option. Not just that, you can also change the shape of the enlarge folder to match your home screen layout. This is something which you won't find on many other Android skins. Similarly, we also get the stack widgets feature where you can place widgets of the same sizes into a single one. Then you can just drag and hold on the widget to edit the stack as per your need. Next, you can also customize and change the layout of your recent apps menu. You just need to long press, go to home screen settings, scroll all the way down and then click on manage apps. Here you can choose between the flat and stack layout. So depending on your requirement, you can select whichever style you want. Next, if you go to the home screen settings, scroll down, we have something called icon pull down gesture. Once you enable this, then if you swipe up from the right or left side of your screen, you can easily access all the apps that are located at the top and without lifting your finger, you can continue swiping into an icon and then release it to open that specific app right away. This way you can easily access any app with just one hand. Then you can also enable double tap to wake or lock your screen so you don't have to press the power button every time. Also change to swipe down to notification panel and turn on the option called show search bar at the bottom which will add a search button to quickly search your contacts, files or anything on your phone directly on your home screen. Next, you can also increase the display resolution by going into your phone settings, display and brightness, scroll all the way down and here change the resolution from standard to high. Since it has a massive battery, you can definitely keep the highest possible resolution for your phone. Next, if you go to refresh rate, it is set to standard by default, but you can change that to high for even smoother experience. Then if you go inside app specific refresh rate, you can configure and change the refresh rate for each app individually. Finally, let me show you some useful camera tricks. When you want to click pictures, you don't have to look for the shutter button. Instead, you can tap anywhere on the screen and it captures instantly. To enable this feature, go to camera settings, scroll down and then select shooting methods. Simply enable tap to capture and show palm. Now just show your palm to take selfies and tap anywhere to take pictures. Another setting you need to change is the volume button action. If it is set to shutter, change it to zoom and now you can zoom in and zoom out using the volume buttons. You can also turn on the quick launch toggle so you can quickly open the camera by double tapping the side key. You can record up to 4K 60 frames videos on your phone and you get all the manual controls to adjust the ISO, white balance and shutter speed. You can take some high quality pictures and record some stunning videos on your smartphone. So that's pretty much it for this video. These are some useful tips, tricks and hidden features for your OnePlus Nord 5. If you guys like this video then be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I am Mr. Android and I'll see you guys in the next one.